My name is Suzanne Mumford and I'm a product marketing manager here at Google and I'm working specifically on our GOMO initiative, um, an effort to help inspire, educate, and empower businesses to build mobile friendly websites. Uh, and you can check out our website at howtogomo.com. Hanging out with me today are Dennis Mink, the Chief Marketing Officer of Duda Mobile. Hi, Suzanne. Hey there. Uh, we also have Adrian Burho, the Chief Operating Officer of Top Mass Resorts in Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Hi, everyone. And finally, we have Felicia Veenings from Savaz Restaurant in Ann Arbor, Michigan, and she is the general manager over there. Hi, everyone. Hey there. So why are we all here today? Um, Google recently teamed up with Doodle Mobile and launched a free mobile website builder. Google is actually going to pick up the cost of this for the first year. Um, and in four simple steps, businesses will be able to create a mobile-friendly website. Um, and so we have Dennis here who's going to walk us through a demonstration of how the tool works live with two businesses. And, and of course, those businesses are Top Mass Resort and Savaz Restaurant. So with that, I would love to pass it along to Dennis so we can get the show started. All right. Thank you, Suzanne. So let's get started. Uh, I'm going to take you through how we can build mobile websites with these two businesses. And let's start with Adrian. Adrian, why don't you just tell me a little bit about your business? Uh, Top Mast Resort was originally bought by my parents over 41 years ago. They've been running it ever since. And eight years ago, my brother and I joined forces, and we've been expanding and renovating and building our business. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's a resort. I know it's in Cape Cod. Let me ask you, I know you have a website. I've spent some time and I want to take a look at that with you. Uh, what are some of like the key drivers of your business? Like how do people find out about you? How do they make reservations and so on? Just give me an understanding of, of really what drives your business. Right. The internet obviously is huge. Our website, um, our location being right on the beach is what brings up people to us and then they contact us by phone and email. Okay. So most of your business, most of the customers, they're making reservations through phone and email. That's, that's what I'm hearing. Yep, absolutely. Okay. okay. So what I'd like to do now is let's, let's take a couple minutes and take a look at your website and then we're going to go about taking your regular website and converting it into a mobile friendly website. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you, with you guys. Thanks, Dennis. You're welcome. There it is. All right. So, Top Mast, a beachfront resort. So, this is clearly a website designed for a <coughs> desktop. You've got, I see a lot of large images. You have some, some really deep navigation, which is great for SEO on the desktop. But f from a mobile experience, I definitely say we're going to want to trim this down. You've got a lot going on here. Yes. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead now and switch over to the mobile website builder. So this is on howtogomo.com slash get started. Anybody can go here. Uh, this is your starting point. And the first step that we're going to do is we're actually just going to simply type in the URL, which I've done here already, and we're going to press make my site mobile. Now what's happening is we're actually going out now and we're examining your websites and we're identifying the colors, the content, the navigation, and so on. And we're going to map it to mobile-friendly templates. So here we, here we go. Now, on, as we can see, we've identified your navigation. We know you've got really deep navigation, and you can see it all here. So we go out and we extract all the navigation and make it all accessible from here. The images, every, pretty much everything you find on, your, on, your, on the homepage of your desktop website, you will find here on your mobile site. And that goes for all of these subpages as well. Uh, on the first screen, we provide a variety of, of themes, and we actually get people using a lot of these templates, but in your case, let's just stick with the default, the default template. It looks really nice and clean, and we're going to move on to the second step. Now, this is really the heart of, of the site editor. This is where you're going to spend most of your time customizing your website, adding features that will really help drive your business. So in your case, 
We know that a lot of customers will call you, and we actually auto-generate a click-to-call button when we, can, when we can identify the phone number on your, on your desktop website. And so we've got that here, and if we click on it, you can see this is the phone number, it says call us. We can always change this. That's great. And it'll update automatically. Now the navigation, let's talk about the navigation. We know you've got really deep navigation. People that are browsing mobile websites on the go, they're, they're typically not going, going to spend a lot of time on your website. So we really want to focus on what's most important, like what the most important actions are you're going to want them to take, and just as well understanding what they're looking for when browsing a mobile website. So I'm going to go and I'm going to edit the navigation menu, and here it all is, and I'm just going to just do some really simple things like hide menu items that, that really are not necessary on the mobile website. So uh, let's see, maybe the property map, photo gallery is good. In fact, we can take this and we can move this higher up in the navigation if we want. Uh, maybe local attractions is not so important, local links, online gift store. So I'm just demonstrating how you can remove, you're not even removing them, you're really just simply hiding these items from the navigation. So some other things that we can do here is we know we want to add a map to your website. And this is really, this is going to allow a person when they visit your mobile site, they can click on this button and it's going to automatically open up the uh, Google Maps on their phone and show them exactly how to get to your business. And so in, in fact, here's where we would type in your address information and so on. If you have a Google Places business listing, you can actually link it to your mobile map so that when somebody views your business listing on the map on their phone, they'll see things like reviews and, and whatever information you've, you've added to your Google Places listing. Some other things that we can do, I always recommend to include a nice photograph towards the top of the site and using the, using the editor, you can simply come in here and you can select an image and you can move them around. So I'll just sort of drop it, let's say I'll just drop it here, that looks nice. And to, if we want to get a little bit fancy, we have these sort of two basic site editor modes. This is the basic view. These are really like the five key things that most people, most businesses will want to do to optimize their, their website for mobile. But we also have a full view. And here we have a lot of additional features here you can add to your website. Some of them are really like business drivers like click to text. This would allow somebody to actually text your business through your mobile site. But we also have like design plugins, like two columns, and this is a personal favorite of mine. I'm going to drag this over here. And then what I can do is I can take Find Us and drag it in there. I can take the Call Us here, and I can add in there. And I can see it looks a little bit too big, so I'm just going to click on this and just say Call Us and click Done. So this is really, what I'm trying to demonstrate is it's really quite easy to use the, the editor to build a very mobile friendly website and you just go page by page and, you, and you, you, do, you customize your mobile site this way. Now once you're done, you go on to the next screen and this is where you're going to save your, your mobile site. We don't ask for anything other than your email address and your password. Once you save your site, we'll provide you with a mobile website URL that you can now share with people. You can browse and preview it on your phone. In fact, we have a preview function here so you can see what your mobile website looks like on an Android phone. You could even rotate the view. To give you, really, it's designed to give you a real life understanding of how your mobile website will look to people on different phones. Here's what it looks like on an iPhone. And, and we support all, all of the major smartphones. Now, once you're done, you've saved your site, the last step is redirecting your website. It's a very, it's a very simple step to do. Basically, when somebody types in your website address on their phone, we want to make sure that they see the mobile website and not the desktop website. And by adding this one piece of, of script, this one piece of code to the desktop, to the homepage of your desktop website, it'll automatically identify if somebody's coming from a smartphone and redirect them to your mobile website. So I'm going to turn off the screen share now. Great, Dennis. Thank you. Sure. Do you, do you have any questions? No, I thought it looked great. Okay. Good. Definitely be fun to play around with and customize it for sure. Okay, good. Sounds good. So with that being said, why don't we switch over to the next website. Uh, Felicia, hi, how are you? Good, how are you, Dennis? I'm good.
So why don't you tell me a little bit about your business as well? Um, well, the right name of her restaurant is Sava's. Um, the owner herself, her name is Sava. She has owned, we've owned restaurants on State Street for almost five years now. We started as a little 50-seat cafe um, downtown Ann Arbor in the heart of um, Central Campus at the University of Michigan, and we expanded almost three years ago to the space that we're in now. Um, we're a very fun, eclectic, American bistro, uh, restaurant bar, very exciting um, restaurant right downtown Ann Arbor. Mm -hmm. okay. um, she just also opened a market right across from the Google building here in Ann Arbor as well. So. Okay. So re restaurant websites are, are interesting. They're, they're a little bit different. When we think about a mobile website for a restaurant, it's a little bit different from, from a, a hotel. So some of the things that we think about and that we're going to want to do with your mobile website are make sure that people, of course, can call to make reservations. Uh, I, I looked at your website earlier. I see that you use open table, so we want to add an open table widget so they can make a reservation through open table from your mobile website. And of course, we want to make sure that they can get directions to your business easily. Is there anything else? You know, is there anything else that we should know about your about what's important to your business when we put together your mobile website? Um, I do think that the being able to see the menus and being able to see photos, um, that's very important. We get a lot of phone calls asking if we can email menus over to people. Um, another thing is the contact us page I think is needs to be easily accessible. Um, people, we do, we have a huge catering business and people are constantly asking um, how to get a hold of our catering coordinator and that would be under the contact us page. Okay, okay. Yeah, that sounds good. So, so let's go ahead. And I want to take a look at your website now, um, but and then we're going to go ahead and build a mobile website for you. So I'm going to go ahead and screen share again. Okay, so here we go. So, and it's it's Savas in Ann Arbor, Michigan. So very very clean design. You've got several images here. Uh, your navigation, restaurant, bar, catering. Let's just take a quick look. Okay, very clean, very minimalist design. This should, this should actually work quite well uh, in converting into a mobile website. I'm just going to grab this picture right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do it. Now we're going to go back to let's go back to howtogomo.com. And in fact, let me grab your website URL here. And once again, we're going to just type in the URL. We're going to click Make My Site Mobile. And again, we're identifying the content, the colors, the navigation, your navigation menu, and so on. And we're going to take that all and map it to a mobile-friendly template that will look good on Android phones, iPhones, Windows phones, even a variety of BlackBerry phones. OK, here we go. So it looks like we've got the header, we've identified your navigation. We didn't get your phone number, so we're going to add that manually. And I noticed that we didn't pick up the images, but I'm going to show you how you can very easily upload images. So moving back to the site editor, again, we've got the basic, the basic view of the site editor, and then we've got the full featured site editor. Let's start, let's start with the header. So I noticed the image that we imported from your website has all this extra white space on it. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. So here is when I click on the image itself, or if I just click Edit Header and Logo, it's going to open up, and I can edit the logo. So a couple of things you can see, just by dragging the slider back and forth, we can increase and decrease the size. But we have a crop tool here, and this allows us to select a portion of the image that we want to keep, and it'll get rid of the rest. So I go ahead and click Crop, and now if you look over here, you can see that we, we remove the white space. Now, one thing I'd like to do is center align it. Actually, it looks like it's already centered align. Left align, center align, okay. So that, that looks really nice. Uh, let's go ahead and add a click to call button. So here, since we didn't auto-generate it, we simply click add click to call, and it'll add a call us button. And you could customize the text description in the button and save it. Okay, that looks good. But let's go ahead, I want to actually add an image. And so we notice that on your website, here we go, we have these images. Now sometimes, depending on the way that a website's built, it's very difficult for us to, to capture these images. So you'll notice here, on some websites, if you select an image, you can drag it around. It's an image you can save to your desktop. In this case, 
We weren't able to do that, so I just took a screenshot of it. I think we may have lost Dennis. Hang on. We'll see if Dennis can, can rejoin us. It looks like he may have lost a little bit of connection. Um, but this is incredible. I have actually been timing um, how long these mobilizations have started. And Adrian, I noticed um, that it took just seven minutes for Dennis to create that mobile, uh, mobile friendly website. So I was pretty impressed. As was I. That was really something. It's uh, got great potential for helping people get to us and find us. Yeah, and I, th I think the fun part of the tool is, is also that you get to be sort of the designer and the marketer, right? Like you can see how easy um, for Savaz, for example, just cropping the, the edges around the logo made such a big difference. So it really is is effective to empower businesses to, to be the marketer and, and the designer all in one. It's a great tool. Yes. Well, this is fantastic. It does seem that, that we are having a, a little bit of technical difficulties. Um, so I think that, that we can go ahead and, and we can conclude. Unfortunately, we aren't able to get Dennis back on live. But um, I, think, I think I would just like to thank everyone for joining us on air. It's been fantastic to see this, this demonstration of the tool in real time. And we're going to post uh, the recorded version of this Hangout on our Google Mobile Ads YouTube page. So you'll be able to refer back to it um, at any point in time. And for those of you watching, please go to howtogomo.com backslash get started. And you will be able to create your mobile site in minutes as well. So thank you, Felicia, for joining us. Adrian, thank you for joining us. This has been a, a lot of fun. So we appreciate your participation. Yes, thank, thank you, Suzanne. You.